All right, we're about halfway through our ASP.NET 101 series. Feeling good? We've got a good-looking website, we think. It's got some CSS and some HTML. It looks somewhat attractive uh, to the best of our ability. Yeah. Uh, we've also got our cards. We hover over them. We're using Bootstrap for a lot of this. This data is coming out of a JSON file, but again, it could come out of anywhere. Um, in fact, this data could have come out of like a web service from someone else's web service that we would call. Sure can. Or someone could call us, and we're a web service. Yep. Or what if it's just we want to maybe take this site mobile, but that's you know. a really good point. We could make a mobile website, or we could make a Xamarin web app, and then make a web API that is going to provide these products as a service to someone else. Now, when you're doing that, uh, you're not returning HTML; you're returning JSON, and yeah. your data could come from anywhere, but JSON's that format, right? Mm -hmm. So why don't we make a tiny, simple? web API, and then in the next video, we'll make it even more interesting and more complicated. Okay, so you used API. I don't like abbreviations. Yeah, so API, so Application Programming Interface, right? And that's the ability to go and call another thing in a formalized way. So everyone yeah. got together on the internet one day and decided that JavaScript was the way, and JSON, the JavaScript object notation, is a good way to express mm -hmm. things. So we have a list of products, and if you it's remember- It's kind of like a service, too. It is. A, it's a, that's a great point. It is a service. So if you remember, you had me making, where is it? There we go. You had me make this product. So that's the C Sharp class or the shape of our product. Mm -hmm. And we want to go and return that as JSON. We do. And we want to basically make it so you go to our website, slash products, and it returns as JSON. And remember, at the very beginning, the first video there, you had me do a JSON serializer. Yes. That's going to come in useful in this one, isn't it? I think it will. Let's find out. So the ability to be able to serialize JSON or be able to serialize rather uh, C Sharp into JSON is super mm -hmm. interesting. We're just writing it back to mm -hmm. JSON. Now, right now, if I go to my app and I say slash products, nothing happens. What's that about? Yeah, well, it's a big fail. Yeah. If I hit slash privacy, I get a privacy policy good. page. Yeah. Uh, and if I go over here, you can see. I've got a privacy page. I've got my index, which is kind of my default. Mm -hmm. I don't have a products, but do I need a products page? Do I need a products endpoint? Uh, you know, a, a place to land when you say slash products. Well, apparently in the startup file that some of us tend to ignore, such as myself, there is, <laughs> there is an, a spot where you can insert additional endpoints. Mm -hmm. There absolutely is. Uh, this endpoint of where uh, a URL turns into some work is an endpoint in ASP.NET. And you can see here that by default, again, this is a default. And you mentioned that you don't really look in startup.cs. No. Most people don't need to because you, you get it configured and then you spend most of your time making pages. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it in two steps. We're going to do an endpoint of our own that's custom. And then uh, afterwards, we'll do it another way. So here, we see that there's an endpoint. And then we say map razor pages. It is because of that line that slash privacy and, and slash nothing actually works. We've also got an error, it looks like, as well. Yeah. Okay. So turns out you can say endpoints dot, and look, you can map all kinds of stuff. Map this, map controllers, map delete, map follow. Oh, my goodness. Well, you can map, oops, stand look at me not typing, <laughs> map get. So when someone does a get, we can do some stuff. Awesome. So I noticed you were trying to use the forward slash products thing. So why don't we try mm -hmm. to insert that as okay. a route? So that will become our new endpoint, our endpoint route. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've seen ASP.NET in the past, you may be familiar with routing. You should go and take a look in the docs about the subtle differences between routing and endpoints. Endpoints is a little bit more flexible for what we're doing. We're going to say slash products. Cool. All right. Then this is a little tough. You say comma. And then you can have this object. I call it context. You can call it whatever you want. And then our rocket ship, right? And then we're going to go and open that up and then close it and close it. So let's just remind ourselves really briefly. That got opened there. See how Visual Studio is so smart? Yeah, so nice. It is nice. It Don't got the closed count. there. So our mustache is here, our curly brace is there, right? Mm -hmm. And our there. So the rocket ship is then going to point to the stuff that we're going to do. Yeah. So we can do a bunch of stuff. So the stuff goes what are we here. We're going to do. Yeah. All right. Now this might look a little scary, but uh, you walked me through it before and I didn't feel too bad. Okay. All right. So in this case, I think we just want to retrieve all the products again. Right. Now because we're not waters. in a page, 
we're going to have to go and get them manually. And this is actually yeah. no fun and proves that the way we did it before was actually cool because yeah. services should be easy to get. So we have our app, an app's a thing, right? Mm -hmm. And we can ask all of our apps application services. Go retrieve the specific service that we want. Gimme, yep. which was called a? JSON file product service. JSON file product service, cool. See, it's already getting too long and it's stressing me out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Trust me, this will be worth it because we're and There's teaching. lots of function calls here too. It's Teach like a lot. woman to fish. Yep. Now, get products. Which was a function that exists in right. there that we made. So all in one, like long That's breath line, <laughs> you're going to go and say app.applicationservices. <sighs> go and ask the app, give me this service, dot get products. So I could have just made one, mm -hmm. but in this thing here, I'm actually saying, you know about these. Just give me that. It'll be easier. Like yeah. life will be better if you go and make this happen for me. Yep. Okay. All right. So then in the next line, we get the, the actual JSON. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we got the JSON variable and mm -hmm. we need to serialize all those product objects. Okay. So we're going to use that JSON serializer again. The JSON serializer may not be available here and I'm going to oh. use that little light bulb and get that using statement added at the top. Really Remember, handy. all the way at the top, it just yeah, added that. There it is. Okay, JSON serializer dot. Serialize. Okay, so not deserialize, but serialize. And uh, we yep. need, we can make it a list of products or whatever of products. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an I I enumerable know. of product, another thing that we need to bring in from models. And I'm just hitting control dot to get that up very quickly. Yep. And then we're going to say, these are the products. These ones here make me a string of those. Yep. All right. Now, it is worth reminding ourselves and the audience that we're doing this inside of startup.json, which is weird. Yeah. <laughs> it is weird, but it's also showing you that, that there's a low level or like a down on the metal way that you can do things. And in the next video, we're going to do this in a much, a much better way, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, so far, we have retrieved our product by manually digging it out of the application services pile of services. And then we serialize the product into some JSON. Uh, let's go ahead and return that to the web, uh, web browser. Cool? Good idea. All right. So back to Visual Studio. All right. So now let's go ahead and return. So we're going to use return keyword and then context mm -hmm. dot response. Right. And we have response and request. So yes. we're going to go back the yeah. response. All right. And we're going to do write. Uh, so I don't see write. Oh. Yeah, that's interesting. Write async. Let's go let's and do write this. it anyway and maybe we'll get the trusty. Oh. Like, well, there we oh, go. All right. Yeah. So there's our write async is inside of a dot HTTP namespace right. when I add that. Light bulb to right, the rescue. Cool. Yep, the light bulb is great. Ah, look, and here we've got a different choices. We're going to return some text. So I'm just going to say JSON awesome. and add a semicolon. And that JSON, of course, is this one right here. Yep. All right. So then let's just go ahead and run this and see if it works. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Deal. Fingers crossed. It's kind of low confidence. <laughs> you never know. You never know. It could work. <laughs> okay, so there's our web page. We knew that that worked. But remember, we made a slash products. It's products. Oop. Oh, there you go. Nice. Normally on my browser, though, I don't see it that nicely formatted. I, yeah. yeah. Well, if you notice, I'm going to hit refresh. Like, watch again really close. Oh. It looks bad. Pause, your, pause the frame. Yeah, it looks bad for a second. Yeah. <laughs> well, it turns out what I'm doing, I'm using the new uh, Microsoft Edge. And it is uh, based on Chromium. And you can use JSON View, which is a it's literally pretty JSON. That's pretty. All right, so <laughs> I recommend that people try that out if you want to look at JavaScript. Because if you look at the reality, if I do a view source, we don't, need to, we don't need to pause the frame. Yeah. That's the reality. But of course, that's not for humans. No. That's I mean, not for at humans. At least you can and tell it's most likely successful. That's at that totally point, okay. But. And that's not for humans. That's for, uh, for, for, for the future uh, mobile website or the mobile uh, application that you mentioned. Sure. Cool. Now, again, not super fun. No. Let's take a break, come back, and make a real web API that's much more friendly. Deal? Deal. Stick with us.